I really can't believe there are people that don't use AI to learn pretty much anything these days. It's so easy to use AI to learn literally any skill. It's unbelievable. It's, it's like Google was just invented and, except, I mean, it's AI now. So because of my experiences in the tech industry and people still not knowing how to, use basic, how to basically use AI to learn anything, I think it would, it's a good time to bring the subject up and teach you how to use AI to learn anything. It's only basically three prompts that you can use to learn pretty much anything. Uh, and we're gonna just going to go back to pretty much first principles of human psychology and imagine that you're a two-year-old or three-year-old. How do you learn about the world around you? First, you ask what, then you ask why. And that, those, are, those pretty much cover it. But and also how, duh. With AI, I think there's another really important question. Where do I start? So today, I'm going to be showing you some prompts here. Uh, my daughter does not know how to program. So let's see if she can, we can get her on the path to learning. That, this is the, that's the goal here, to get on the path to doing things that you need to do. This, that's the pragmatic approach because if you get stuck on the learning step, you're never going to move forward. So um, in order to start, we're going to ask, uh, for example, if you, you've never encountered programming before in your life, you can just ask it. You can literally type in, uh, you can speak you can speak into the um, app and just say, what is programming? And you'll send, send that, to, that uh, to the AI and it'll tell you what programming is. So here, um, if you are really interested in learning something, you can ask it, uh, for example, programming involves problem solving, designing algorithms, and translating them into code that can be executed by computers. And if, if you want to know in depth about any of these little details, you can ask it, why does it do this? Uh, why is it a key skill in building software? Uh, why do we have to use Python, Java, C++? And uh, so here is a great example. Uh, which one of these languages should I, which one of these languages should I choose? Python, Java, or C++? So we can ask it that question. Why? Uh, which, program, which programming language should I choose? Python, Java, or C++? And I, I made it kind of a bad prompt just I mean, on purpose so that we can see. Um, because it's honestly answering it for us. Because uh, it says best for beginners. Right? Python. I could have added more context into my question. Which program, programming language should I choose as a beginner? So here it, it explains to you all these things like C++ best for performance. So at the end it has a little a little conclusion. If you're a beginner, start with Python for simplicity and versatility. Uh, so from here you can simply just say, "Okay, I would like to choose Python. How do I get started learning? Where do I even start?" It feels really overwhelming, and it'll parse that into words. And you have this whole history of your conversation. So if you ever need to review what you, you've been learning, you just go back. So starting to learn Python can feel overwhelming, but breaking it down into manageable steps, blah, blah, blah. So you set up your environment. And it lists all the steps here. So there's literally no excuse to begin learning. And if your excuse is that AI is going to take your job, that's a completely different argument. So if you plan on... Uh, just learning how to code to make money, I think that is kind of short-sighted. Because in the future, whenever AI does eventually, at some point, take everyone's jobs, what are you going to do? I mean, yeah, that's a difficult question, right? And I've kind of conceptualized this in my mind as uh, in the utopian world where no one really has to work anymore, you're going to have two camps of people. People that realize that the most important asset or the most important thing in this, in our known world is human consciousness. And you're either going to be able to leverage your network of human consciousness, like your network of other people, or you just succumb to the endless inter AI entertainment options that will be um, at your fingertips. So do you think you've learned how to use AI today and how, how to learn something?
how would you, uh, if you don't understand something, what do you, what can you do first? Mm. You ask what? And why? Yeah, so like, what is something? Like, if you don't know what this is, you can take a picture of it and ask, what is this? And then you can ask, why is this a thing? Why, what is it used for? And then if you want to learn how to build it, you can ask, how do, you, how do I build this? And then it'll be something super com complicated, but then you just start, you, you can break anything down into small parts and learn those small parts and then learn the big thing. Yeah. All right, well, I'll see you next time.